CSS Grid lets us position HTML elements into a two-dimensional grid. So let's create a simple grid. First we need a new blank HTML page. Um, we could use Bootstrap or Foundation or other frameworks, but let's choose plain HTML so that we can focus just on the grid. And let's save the page first. We can skip this. CSS Grid is defined on the container element. That is the element that contains the items that will be positioned with the grid. So in this example, let's add CSS Grid to the body element. So let's select the body. And to create the grid, we click on the Edit Grid icon in the Element menu or we can choose Edit Grid from the drop-down menu. And this opens the CSS Grid Editor. And here we create the grid. And by default we get a grid with three columns and one row. And let's go to the Style panel so that we inspect the CSS code. So everything is on Style Attribute at the moment. And here we can see that the grid layout is activated by setting the display property to grid. And then grid template columns and grid template rows define the layout of the grid. Let's add another row to the grid so that we have a nice 3 by 2 layout. And in many ways CSS grid is similar to HTML tables. We also have columns and rows. But there is one important difference, and that is that CSS Grid is not defined by columns and rows. Uh, instead, it is defined by lines. So we have vertical lines, and we have horizontal lines. And the lines are numbered from 1 up to 3, 4, one, two, three, and these lines create a grid layout. And then the column and row values specify the distance between two lines. So looking at rows, we have 100 pixels between the first and the second line, and 100 pixels between the second and the third line. And for columns, we are using a special grid unit called fraction, that equally divides all available space. And then changing these values changes the grid layout. And also here, we can also specify the gap between columns and rows. So I, I'm using shift up to increase the value by 10 units. And now that what we are seeing here on the page is just the grid outline displayed by PineGraw to help us visualize the layout. And we haven't placed any elements into the grid yet. The body is empty. And in the next part, we'll build a simple page layout.